As you know, the White House also facing questions tonight over the alarming scene at the southern border. More than 4,200 unaccompanied migrant children are now in U.S. custody. Reporters not allowed to go in, but legal advocates for the children are talking. And ABC's Cecilia Vega from the southern border, she's in Texas tonight. Tonight, crammed inside these massive tent structures on the southern border, so many migrant children, some are forced to sleep on the floor. The Biden administration not allowing journalists in to see for themselves, but two lawyers who did get in spoke to some 20 kids, and they paint a disturbing picture. The unaccompanied children not supposed to be held here more than three days. Instead, some stay for a full week. 45 to 50 kids who made the long and dangerous journey without their parents sharing a space like this. That is where they would spend their entire day. They did tell us that every few days they were allowed to go into a courtyard for about 20 minutes. How young are we talking? We saw the whole spectrum from from 1 to 17. Authorities right. overwhelmed. The other side of this river, that's Mexico right there. Take a look here. This is the Border Patrol on standby during the day at night. They tell me it is mayhem. Sources telling ABC News the more than 4,200 children currently in custody is at record levels. The Biden administration now bringing in FEMA to help with the crush and opening new facilities. We have a lot of critics, but many of them are not putting forward a lot of solutions. But for those kids inside these tents tonight, the solutions aren't coming fast enough. What you heard in Donna sounds like it really hit you in your core. To see very young children scared, confused about what was going on, not being able to contact family members. It was just really emotional to see the pain that these young people were in. And so let's get to Cecilia with us tonight from Texas. Republican leader Cecilia, as we know uh, from the House, we're on the border today drawing attention to all of this. And what are you hearing from your sources on the ground there? What's driving these numbers that have only been worsening in recent weeks? Yeah, David, I've been talking to so many people. Look, the Biden administration isn't sending these unaccompanied minors back across the border like the Trump administration did. That clearly is leading to some of the overcrowding that you're seeing here behind me. There's also this perception among the migrants that it's easier to cross now under the Biden administration. This message of do not come now isn't getting through. But David, you know this, these kids, they are fleeing horrible conditions back home, a heartbreaking situ situation out here on the border. All right, Cecilia Vega in Donna, Texas tonight. Cecilia, thank you.